Hello and uh, welcome to my Bloodborne NG Plus walkthrough. This is chapter 5. And it's going to be Father, uh, I can't really pronounce it right. Gascoin. Gascoin. Gasqua. Whatever. Just put in the comments if you know how to fucking pronounce it. And thank you very much. So. I'm gonna leave the cutscene. I'm gonna probably leave all the cutscenes because they're not really spoilers. Because if you want to know the story, you have to kind of read every item and and, and kind of cost construct the story on your own. So this is my favorite boss in the game. And I'm going to try to parry him, I think. I don't really remember. Let's see. He uses an axe. And he's really susceptible to the parry repost. There you see. So you really have to take advantage. Now the parry repost system, I haven't explained it well. It works when the swing is coming down on you. That That means when it's when it's going to hit you, moments before it hits you, there, you, you see it, it, it doesn't work. When it's going to hit you, just moment before it's going to hit you, there the, the swing was going down, that's why I got it. Only on the downward attack, there I got it, but couldn't reach uh, the repose in time. And the way to do it is like that. Sometimes you get hit, but with the regain system, you, you see my health going down, but uh, a little orange bar stays. Now I'm using the tiny music box. That hurts him. And I missed that attack. Fucking shit. Gotta be careful with the axe, with the axe because, yeah, that attack. The axe is a really dangerous weapon and a really cool weapon to use if you want to use it as your with your first playthrough. It's a strength weapon. There we go, another parry post. He's going to transform pretty soon in a beast. In his beast form. There he goes. Now it's really dangerous. Look at that. He actually can hit you on the ground. When you are on the ground you don't have high frames like most games have. So you have to move. I get the parry but I just fail it there. And watch watch him like hitting me in the ground. I get the parry there and I miss it again. Oh my fucking god. I get oh my fucking god. I missed the parry once again. He's almost dead. Is he going to die? Or am I going to die? Oh my god! I'm a I am going to die. Okay. That's really fucked up. He he was like two hits away or one. One of those missed reposts and he would have died. So no problem guys, as I said this is going to be a seamless walkthrough. So I'm gonna leave the deaths because as with all the Souls games and with this game, Bloodborne, uh, we learn from our deaths. So what we what that what would what did we learn there? Well uh, do not miss the par fucking Paris, right? But now I can show you how fast you can go back to the, the boss. This is the elevator, just go into the elevator. Really close to the lamp. This is uh, always true with all the bosses. I send it up because I really can't trust if I'm going to die again. Uh, this is true with all the bosses. There is always a shortcut that is close to the lamp so you cannot so you don't have to do a whole level again just to get to the boss 
All these guys are going to die. Yeah. So I'm always I'm always going to show you the shortcuts, which are the most the, the most important thing in the game. I'm going to kill these people for some reason. Oh my god. Okay, let's get this guy buried. There we go. As I was saying, uh, this video, for example, is only a, uh, a boss video. But some videos uh, will contain bosses and exp exploration as well. Uh, I don't know how many chapters this walkthrough will be. I'm kind of curious about that, about how fast can I finish the game while showing important stuff. There we got the parry, good. But we didn't kill it with the visual attack. A lot of HP. So let's go at it again, shall we? Let's see if we can beat Father Gascoigne. When you go back there will be a fog gate as you can see it there you just got to go through it and you you don't have to watch the cutscene again just get to the fight I think I'm gonna miss a lot of parries here again because really there I use the, the music boss that kinda stuns him there is a lore about the music box and why it stuns him, but I don't want to spoil anything. This is a this is a almost spoiler free in terms of the story. It's spoiler free. Nice, nice attack there. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Really dangerous. There we got the parry, but look at that. I can't, I can't really reach the repose in time. There we go. We got it. We got one. But look at his HP, really. A lot of HP. Cleric Beast, Cleric, Cleric Beast had uh, much more HP than Kalkwan, but anyway. Okay, he's going to transform you. Yeah. Are we going to get a parry in his transform state? Let's see. No. He's really dangerous. Look at the series of attacks. He, if he does all his combo there, you're practically dead. I can get a parry. He's a fucking mess. That's funny in his beast mode. I don't want to get locked into the tombstone, I'm going to go at it with the katana and the tank. Prey slaughtered, we got a key that's gonna allow us to keep going. Uh, as I said before guys, we're not gonna do optional bosses, we're not gonna do optional uh, areas. If you want to see those optional bosses, I have a boss run with all the bosses included, all of them, except yes, except German, that we're going to see it at the end of this walkthrough. That's the first shim that you're probably going to get. Shims go into weapons and increase their st stats, different stats that the weapons have. Uh, usually you get better gems and cha in challenge dun dungeons in the random ones and uh, the more difficult the dungeon is because you have modifiers that you can put into the challenge when you create them. So the more difficult the challenge uh, of the challenge dungeon is the better runes, uh, the better blood gems you can have. So, for example, a modifier is having the 
half of your HP gone so you just have half of your HP so that's really really harsh that's more th that's more difficult than a plot level 4 uh, challenge run and am I going to do chalice, chalice uh, gameplay? probably I'm going to think about how because the challenges are really kinda long and I don't want to do all of them but I do there is a couple of puzzles in the chalices that I haven't displayed yet in a boss run or in any way sort of so to speak so I'm guessing I'm going to start doing chalice runs and uh, when I get to the new bosses that are exclusively in the chalices and what I consider to be the real final boss on the game of the game that is in the last chalice the last story chalice I'm sure I'm going to record it and show it for you guys so we're talking with this creature this will be kind of our second home from now on we we will be going to kill a boss from here but not right now we have some stuff to do before so the next video is again going to show you how to get the shortcuts for the boss and now I'm going to show you the item that you have to buy now the item cost 10,000 blood echoes if you don't have the, blo the blood echoes you have to farm them the way you farm them is by killing monsters it's not really that uh, strange you just go and kill monsters in the cathedral ward where we just were this is the item by the way 10,000 echoes hunter chief emblem is gonna open a gate that you need to get to the boss so you basically have to farm monsters so I'm gonna end the video here guys uh, this was chapter 5 father Gasquan and we'll see each other in chapter 6 thank you for watching and take care